Welcome back to CBS Saturday Morning. The city of Los Angeles swore in a new fire chief yesterday, and for the first time in history of the department, she is a woman. Kristen Crowley will lead the nation's third largest firefighting force in our second biggest city as a push for diversity continues in a male-dominated field. Joy Benedict takes a look at both the history of women firefighters and how Crowley hopes to encourage more to sign up. They are the first on the scene. From the air, on trucks, and on the ground, they are our rescuers and our defenders. But hidden among the storied precision of helmets and overcoats, up into the our nation's firefighters are taking on a more feminine flair. Coming from Ohio, that's where I was originally raised, I've never seen a female firefighter. But now Crystal Renault is one. Firefighter actually approached me in the gym and said, you know, you work really hard. I see how strong you are. And city's actually open for applications. I think you should apply. So. She and Haley Denny are part of the newest class of probationary firefighters in the city of Los Angeles. The only two women to graduate in their class. You've probably only done what, like 12 shifts? Not, Not even. even. <laughs> <laughs> and although they are new, they've known from the beginning, they are different. What are the challenges of being a woman? Size. Uh, I would say that was probably my biggest uh, hurdle. I think learning just technique of every different movement is was a really um, big thing to try to overcome. This equipment isn't built for someone that's, you know, five foot four and a hundred and maybe 30 pounds soaking wet some days. And as they toured the city's firefighting museum, they realized how rare they are. Of the city's 3,700 sworn firefighters, only about 100 are women. Nationwide, female firefighters still only make up around 8% of career hires, making the pressure to succeed even stronger. I want to be able to perform to the point where someone knows if we're going to the fire, Crystal has my back. The first known female firefighter dates back to 1818, an enslaved woman in New York City named Molly Williams. In Los Angeles, there was the Society of Matrons, a volunteer brigade of lady defenders back in 1910. But despite being founded in 1886, L.A. didn't pay a woman to put out fires until 1984. Now, 38 years later, it is my pleasure to be the first to congratulate you. Yeah. Los Angeles has its very first fire chief, who happens to be female. The 19th fire chief of Los Angeles City Fire Department. It's pretty incredible. It's a, and I don't take that lightly. Chief Kristen Crawley joined the department 23 years ago after finishing an internship as a paramedic. As soon as I went into the fire station, I thought, this is what I'm supposed to do. Once on the job, things weren't always easy. Many times I was the only woman in our whole battalion. Do you think that the way women are treated in fire service has changed in the last two decades? I think it has changed. Is there room for growth? Absolutely. In the LAFD, there have been allegations of sexism and harassment, something Crowley says must change. It's a really perfect position to start and to prioritize that work environment, especially from the diversity, equity, and inclusion side. And even Chief Crawley admits things were far from perfect in her career. The eyes are on you, but they're on you just a little bit longer. Just say, uh, can you do the job? It's like, yes, I can do the job and I'll show you. She says she was frequently being tested and even had to deal with other firefighters taking her position in the field, forcing her to prove herself again and again. Somebody would run to the base and just to make sure that I could throw the ladder. It was a test. So I'd throw the ladder and then I'd have a little talk and say, you know what, that's my spot. So don't do it again. Crowley says the key to fixing that is having more diversity on the department, which is why they offer girls camps and outreach. It's going to make us a stronger team so we can ultimately serve the community in a better capacity. Because in an emergency, every firefighter may have different strengths, but they all do the same job. At the academy, there's no breaks for being a woman, right? Correct. No. It's all the same. And even though Renault and Denny have the same grit and determination as their male counterparts, they say seeing a change at the top is exciting. There's so many women out there that might not even know that's a possibility. It's not just um, about being a woman. It's about anyone being capable. Putting out flames, busting through barriers, and igniting a passion for all brave enough to answer the call. For CBS Saturday Morning, Joy Benedict. 
Los Angeles. Mm. Love that she's been doing it for 23 years. I now. know. She says as soon as she walked in to that first firehouse, she knew yeah. what she wanted to do. She got that feeling. This is huge for diversity. She's not yeah. only the first woman, also the first LGBTQ person to, to take this position. And how great is it that the first fire <laughs> fire that was a woman was in 1818, Molly Williams, I an enslaved know. woman who volunteered. So many firsts. Yeah. Come Story's from got it all. Our community. Yes. Great story. Yes, gotta love it.